Thank you. We're talking or we're asking the question, is there a viable opposition in Nigeria? And my guest in the studio will continue the conversation. Well, let me bring you in, Mr. Dega. The Emmanuel Ogebe spoke to us from Washington. His exact words, what we have is repositioning for position. That's what he said. Do you agree with him? Yes, I agree with him. Like I said before, um, apart from the Southwest that has traditionally been um, or assuming opposition position, the, the rest of the country that are there claiming opposition are just uh, remnants of uh, PDP and other parties that um, were dissatisfied with what was happening in the parties. Um, so they have decided to join the progressives in quote. So if uh, we say that there is opposition, I, yes, there is opposition by mentioning it. Viable, I don't think so. Okay, let, let, let me bring in Mark Inde here. The, there's a comment, Doing Kasumu says we should stop deceiving ourselves. Politics of ideology, about politics of ideology, when we're still grasping or uh, battling with the base battling with grasping the basic necessities of democracy well <clears throat> is that true you see the um the people from diaspora maybe they really think no, this one's not diaspora y yes well i mean they they are linked together you know people come in and talk about what's happening in advanced democracies you know and things like that but you can also check it it's on record that ronald reagan actually started that as a democrat and then he became the president of the United States, running on the Republican ticket. Uh, in the not too uh, distant uh, past, there was a senator, uh, Joe uh, Liberman from Connecticut. He was a Democrat. They couldn't, they didn't give him the ticket, you know, to return to to the Senate. But his people wanted him. He ran as an independent, and he won that election, you know, and returned to the to the Senate. So. We shouldn't mix the, you know, uh, the issues, you know, where we're talking about ideology. That's one thing, and then opposition in name, you know, is uh, uh, is, is maybe, another. Maybe we should try and um, couch this question properly. Should should we be bothered about ideology as regards uh, and weigh that against the basics of democracy? You know, like I mentioned earlier on, we're, we're grappling with the issue of poverty, grinding poverty, you know, and I mean. Uh, in Yoruba, they always say, you know, the the guy uh, with the with, the guy with the uh, with the pap who always gravitate towards the guy holding uh, the soup. Mm. You know, it, it's it's just uh, uh, you know the issue we're faced with. So our democracy, in as much as we keep trying, we keep you know looking uh, forward. Uh, uh, and again, I have to say something, you know, here. We should refrain, whether we are uh, the ruling party or we're in opposition, we should refrain from attacking, you know, the national institutions. Because, you know, <clears throat> elections will come and go, parties, you know, government will come and go, but those institutions are supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. If you attack INEC, you attack, uh, you know, the military, you attack the police, I mean, that's not going to take us uh, anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, we... we should have the belief that we're moving somewhere. Whether the guy, you know, used to be in PDP or he used to be in APC, I mean, he has uh, seen something he didn't like uh, out there. And, uh, I mean, he was bold enough to come out and say, well, we can do things differently. Mm. And if I take the Southwest, for instance, uh, uh, the glorious moment for that region, you know, those moments where they actually got something uh, uh, they got things done, were period when they looked inward. It wasn't when they were part of any uh, national, uh, national government, you know. Okay. So uh, I, I think uh, uh, we have opposition and we are, uh, you know, moving in the right direction. Okay. I understand Emmanuel Logebe is back on Skype. Hello. Emmanuel, yes, uh, your closing, your closing um, words before we go. The, the issues of ideology as against the basics. Are we still grappling with ideology and battling against um, the basics as they are in democracy? Well, I mean, let, let, let's be very frank. The place of ideology is elevated when you're dealing with an advanced 
uh, democracies. That, that's kind of a given. Now, um, the fact of the matter is that in Nigeria, we have bread and butter issues. I mean, every party, regardless of their ideology, or, or you know, has to provide electricity. Any party, regardless of the ideology, has to provide security, job creation, economy. But we do not see the existing parties focusing on these issues. What they are more interested in is in, their st in stomach infrastructure, not in general infrastructure. And that's 